We need to pay for that in the apps. So, Swift Playgrounds is a free app from Apple uh -huh. to help you learn more about coding oh. and how code works. Okay. Yep. So, can code. There we go. So, if you search for Apple Everyone Can Code, there is a website about that. And on there, you're going to find out more about this program that Apple has put together to help everyone to learn how to code. And on the website, they talk a little bit about you know, what code is. They talk a little bit about why Apple made a language called Swift to help people learn how to code. They talk, uh, they've got some information on there about resources to download. So Swift Playgrounds, it's the app that you can download to an iPad. So it'll only work on an iPad, it won't work on an iPhone. Um, and then also in the Books app, you've got links to ebooks or digital books to help you learn how to code um, and even how to get into app development. So if you ever wanted to build your own app, you can actually use Swift language to build an app if you'd like. Yep. Isn't that cool? What is that app? Like the ones you're playing in there the that's made all of the apps. Tap one on your iPad all to make games. games. Yep, that's an app. Yep. yep. You're and really, really good at this. You're going to listen carefully if you want to make your own app. It's just short for the word application. Application? Yeah. Cool. So that's what that Apple Everyone Can Code website can do for you, is it can help you follow along more with learn more about coding. Exactly. And do they give you instructions? Do they say, first thing you need to do is take all the clothes that are on the floor and yeah. pick them up yeah. and put them in the laundry. Yeah. Right? And they just gave you, they said, the clothes that are on the floor, pick them up, put them in the laundry. Right? There's steps. That's what code is. Code is just us giving instructions to technology how to do what we want it to do. Make sense? Right? Um, and if you think about it too, when somebody gives you instructions on how to clean your room, they have to be pretty clear about what they want you to do, right? Because if they don't tell you every step, you're probably not going to do it. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. um, have either of you ever cooked something in the kitchen? Yeah. Or somebody cook I have, something I in the kitchen? I have mommy. Yeah? Well, I, I know, not like on the grill or anything. Okay. Like, um, just like a sandwich. Yeah. Well, I could oatmeal a few when I was in flood. When I was four years old. But a lot of times you have to follow a recipe. Right? That's, for me, that's one of the reasons I like coding. I really like to cook. Right? And to me, cooking and, and coding are similar. In coding, you're actually coming up with the instructions. You're not following. Or it's kind of like building a toy. If you've ever had to build a toy, maybe a block yeah. set. Yeah. Um, but if you don't follow the instructions correctly, your sandwich might not come out right. Uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. Another one, she likes to help me make eggs. She likes to stir them up. Uh -huh. so, so, when I look at Swift Playgrounds, over here I've got instructions of what is my goal of how do I solve the puzzle for this map. Down here I have a place to put in my program to put in my instructions or my code. Over here, I've got the map for the live viewer to see my code come to life. Also, I've got these three little dots up here that help me go and find terms of words I don't know mm. or reset my page if I've made a big mess of my instructions. But also, sometimes you'll have words that pop up that are highlighted in either red or blue. And when you tap on them, they will remind you of the definition of that word. So if you forgot what it meant. Cool? Cool. Now, if I tap right here to enter code, what will happen is I'll see some words pop up down here at the bottom to say what it is I can tell my character to do. Right? So I can tell my character to move forward, but he's only going to move forward one spot. So when I tap on move forward, it goes there. I need to get him to move forward three times. So I'll put in three move forwards, and then I will tell him to collect the gem. Oh, okay. Now to see how this code and your character work together, I'm going to tap on this little, it kind of looks like a speedometer or a timer, and I'm going to tell it to step through my code so I can see what happens with each command. So the command and the result. Ooh. 
he does a little happy dance because he got to his gym. <laughs> right? So there's, there's the idea of writing commands to get something to do something make sense. You think you can do that on your own? It's alright, because I'll be guiding you through it, even if you're comfortable with it. But we're going to be doing something very similar to this with the robots today. So that's really what coding is all about. a robot and you take them home, you'll be able to continue to explore some of the more uh, complex things that the robot can do, but you might want to go through that Learn to Code 1 course that we were talking about. That one right there. But let's see what we can learn today. And also what's really nice too is that even if you don't have one of these robots, there is a robot that's on the screen that you can control too. Now what I did is on the robot, I turned the robot on with the switch on the back, and then there's a number on the back of his head, which is called the device ID. So I use that when I hit the connect me bot button to find my robot to connect him using the number. So mine ends in letter six, letter A. And let's see what we've got there. Let me pop up. Oh, there we go, that's the problem. Yep, six A. So they'll be, they'll be connected, and now what we can do is to test our robots to make sure that they're working, there's already a line of code in there called dance. And we're gonna go ahead and hit that run my code and see our robots dance. So go ahead and hit that oh. run my code button at the bottom. Run my Get your robots to dance. Oh, oh wow, now I can. Isn't that cool? <laughs> and it's already dancing, but how though? You just press a button. I think that's what we need to do. We need to learn how to put the code so it would dance. That's <laughs> Yours is a cool dancer. Mine is cool too. I'm doing cha-cha-cha. Oh. Hold on. So now that everybody's robots, Find it. Mm -hmm. Next page. and over here you now have an option to put in a sequence of dance moves. Ah. So go ahead and put in some dance moves and what you'll see is that there are different names like bend, bend and twist, happy, move backwards, move forward. Ah. So you can go ahead and put in some of those dance moves that you'd like to make your robot do. You'll also see that you can slide this across. Wait, where do you run, run, yeah, when run you my code? you tap to enter your code. Oh, enter your code. Tap, yep, to tap enter. there. Oh. You'll get that little bar. Which one, wait, 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 here. Then, yep, right there. And then when you go to slide this across. Looks bad. And then step through them so you can see what those dance moves look like. Let's see, that's how Ben looked like. Uh -huh. How do you do it? Press the... I did. He'll dance a little bit slower, but that's all right. Oh, bend and twist. Cool. Move right. Move left. Raise ah. hands. It's going to raise the hand. Yay. How about the happy shake dance? Them. Shake them. <laughs> shake them. Ah, okay. Oh, look at the happy dance. Mom, look. <laughs> swagger. I like swagger. Now, if you want to take this out, like you don't want this one, what are you going to do? So, if you want to remove one of those, you can just yeah. tap on it. Uh -huh. It'll highlight, and then you can hit the delete oh, okay. button and get rid of it. Don't worry about if there's any gaps in your uh -huh. code. They, they happy won't happy dance. change the way it works. Okay. I have to press the button. How do you do that? <laughs> How do you do that, Lady? Oh, let it dance the Old Town Road. How do you make your robot dance the Old Town Road? I think I'm a. Uh, do the swagger. Raise hands. Do the swagger, Mom. I'm gonna do a bunch of. Do swagger. another one and then shake. Let's see. Ready, go. Mommy. 
Mine's right here. I'm going. The happy. He did the floss. He did the floss? Mommy, look. <laughs> <laughs> he did the floss? Is there a floss in there? There's no, no floss in there. Yeah, do some fun things, sort of like it. So, ah, and he gets really Do uh, the uh -oh. each of you feel more comfortable with how the dance moves work? Mm, okay. So, he do it. this time you are the one who's going to make your own code. One isn't of the it? things that we can do in coding is we can work with something called a function, <laughs> right? So the idea of a function is that we can use one line of code to represent the same dance moves over and over again. So if you think about it, if you've ever watched a performance where people dance, sometimes as they're dancing, they do sort of the same dance moves over and over again, right? They'll do a dance routine and then they'll kind of do something else and they'll come back, right? Maybe as the song maybe repeats itself. So that's kind of what we're doing here with this function. We're going to create a function, and we're going to put dance moves inside of here. We're going to get some new ones. And when we run the code, it's only going to run this one line of code, but it's going to reference your dance routine so you can see how that works. So that's the idea of functions. When you go back to that Learn to Code 1 course, you'll learn more about how functions work and how you can use them to repeat the same steps over and over again. So I would take a little bit of time and build a dance routine, and then we're going to see if we can have all our robots dance all at the same time. Oh, listen, listen. Right now, we're all going to be doing different dance routines. But that's basically the idea. So I put in at least 10 different dance moves. I would like to know that the crazy dance is one that usually makes them fall over. So you might want to put that one in, in at the end if you really, really want to use it, right? Or you don't have to use crazy dance. So go ahead, put in at least 10 different dance moves, and then you can practice them, and then in a few minutes we'll all dance together, okay? Cool. I lost mine. Okay, how many crazy dances? There's like one much mm -hmm. crazy dance that I put in. <laughs> okay, so again. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, oh, that's it. <laughs> Mine shake, skip, shake, skip. For us to build your robot, Alec. Remember what you got for your birthday? <laughs> and help me build that day. Oh, cool. So, you have seen the Swift Playgrounds app. I showed you a little bit about Swift Playgrounds 1, or Learn to Code 1. You know how to get some of the subscription based ones. What I would say is if you would like to continue to learn how to code, you can use the website that you may have found today's session at, which is apple.com slash today 
So if you search for that, you will see any of the sessions that we have available. My we, I 